as usual, this is Mborihopa Cult of Calls. One and only Nyar Konyango. Mm -hmm. And also a cult who catch here. Uh -huh. We want to say. Mm -hmm. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. Yeah. You were not around, right? Yes, I wasn't around. You know, yeah, I had yeah, fun. I saw you on TV, by the way. Wow! <laughs> I saw you talking on TV and I was like, that's my girl. I was oh. so much proud of you. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very, 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 very awesome to have people around you who really appreciate your efforts. Your Actually, we were somewhere in Sindo, mm -hmm. Homabe County. Mm -hmm. I see you are advocating for people to sanitize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were just creating awareness because creating you know the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Ah, that was nice. I, I was so much proud of you and kudos. Keep yeah, it was done before I was there. Those, those small, small winnings. We need to appreciate you at least so Ooh. that the following day you do better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My girl here is really appreciating my effort. She's my number one uh, fan. And I'm also her number one fan. Oh my god. So, <laughs> we're saying we are back. Wow. You know? <laughs> we are back right now. Yeah, we are back bigger and better. And mm -hmm. before even we move on, we want to appreciate those who subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Without you, we couldn't be making these videos, guys. Mm -hmm. We are so much happy with you. We say that keep tuning in mm -hmm. because we have more more good things coming your way and yeah. you will not disappoint. Yeah, we never disappoint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't disappoint. Mm -hmm. so Disappointment is never a portion of... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if I disappoint you, yeah, if she disappoints you, oh my god, come whip us. Ah. Come whip us. Yes, yeah. now, uh, Diana, uh, today we want to talk about you know, relationship. Uh, yes, you know, you have your girlfriend, you have your boyfriend, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you have that. You, you know, they say, uh, this uh, every girl, mm -hmm. every lady mm -hmm. has that one best man friend mm -hmm. with whom the whole world is suspecting them with one bestie yeah one, one bestie. bestie yes the uh -huh. bestie uh -huh. and then uh the same applies to the gents like yeah. there's just that one female friend mm -hmm. who is like everything to him mm -hmm. um they, they don't share much like yes not not intimate mm -hmm. you know they don't go intimate but that love is there you know yeah, yeah. so then i just said we call it what besties yeah, besties. Yes. Your best friend. Your female uh, best friend. And your male. Man, and your male best, best friend, friend. If you are a lady. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, what did you really want us to to talk about about the besties and everything? The besties. I was just uh, what I was to talk about. Uh -huh. uh, best friends uh -huh. in a relationship mm -hmm. like if you're a lady you have a male friend mm -hmm. a male best friend mm -hmm. and if you're a man you have a female best friend mm -hmm. so my question was is it right to have a male bestie as a woman or a female bestie as a man if you're in a relationship <laughs> uh -huh. yes yeah. she is asking you because this, this has always been a question that everyone you know asks around mm -hmm. and today we really want to find answers to all the questions because we say this is the only channel where you have all your questions are answered, are answered. so yeah. just keep it locked here or with me a cop nyako nyango and a cop okay is it really in order is it really in order is it proper mm -hmm. you know to have um, a female friend or a male friend mm -hmm. when you are also in engaged you know, in another relationship, like yes, you are dating someone else. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you, as a woman or you as a uh, as a man, mm -hmm. you have your opposite sex best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call the besties. She just said it. Best so, is yeah. it in order? <laughs> is it proper? Yeah, I hope I think it's proper to have a male best friend or a female best friend, depending mm -hmm. on who you are, mm -hmm. if you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because if there is loyalty, if you trust one another, if there's, you are loyal to your partner, mm -hmm. there is transparency in that relationship, mm -hmm. your spouse or your partner, mm -hmm. uh, they know everything about you, including that best friend of yours. Mm -hmm. If you are open to them and tell them, you know what, Hope is my best friend or so and so is my best friend, mm -hmm. and you genuinely mean it, I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you genuinely mean it. Not, you, not, you today, <laughs> not, 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 not that, that design of uh, let's meet behind that tent, you uh, know? Uh, you like, see, like, like, like in front of your man or in front of your woman, you're like, we're just best friends. We're just nothing, best friends. Nothing or, so much attached. 
you know? You see, some, some people, they have these male best friends or female best friends, mm -hmm. but these female or male best friends, mm -hmm. they call you at night, mm -hmm. and then you're like, eh, she's just a friend, he's just my friend, you don't want to pick that call. You see, from that, mm -hmm. you start raising eyebrows. Your partner <laughs> will start thinking, if truly is he or she is your best friend, uh -huh. then why are you not comfortable talking to them <laughs> when you are with them? Right. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh -huh. I don't think it's bad so, if so, you are loyal, uh -huh. transparent and you trust your partner. So nothing should really be fishy. Uh, no, nothing. It, it should be transparent. Yeah. yeah. So um, what we're trying to say, mm -hmm. it's not wrong mm -hmm. to have your best friend. By the way, do you have your, do you have a bestie, a, a, male, a male friend? A male best friend. A male best no, friend. No, it's not like a male best friend, mm -hmm. but I can say I have male friends. Male friends. I have male friends who are genuine. They are, they are my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at least you got those those one or two male friends who are top in your list. Huh? Ah. Like, like, okay. Friends. Yes. Like for me, I can confidently say I have two best male friends. The most, the best male friend in my life. Mm -hmm. The best male friend in my life, and I can confidently say it without fear or favor mm -hmm. is my daddy your daddy yes ah now here uh, we're not talking about your dad mm -hmm. we're not talking about <laughs> your father because you know it's very obvious that our yeah. dads uh -huh. are the very, the very fast has... men love you know okay. the, the very first loves of our lives okay now we're talking of people outside our family yeah i can mm. say i have i have uh, male friends, mm -hmm. many of them, but I don't have a specific male <laughs> friend that I can say. No, I think it's my best, best. best. No, I have these two guys, yes. you know. I have these two guys. The world has always suspected us, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody tells you, Oh, uh, do you really want to tell us that really there's nothing attached? Mm -hmm. You know, there are no feelings attached, there are no strings attached between you and this guy. Yeah. Because all all the time mm -hmm. you are together. All the time mm -hmm. you are seen with pictures, taking pictures together, mm -hmm. you travel, yeah. you do what, you mm -hmm. know, you do your stuff. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if I can tell you that not even a single day we ever had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of them, actually one of them, we've never even had. But you see how there are those speculations, mm -hmm. especially when you are hanging around with your friends, uh -huh. male friends most mm -hmm. of the time, or if you're a man, mm -hmm. you're hanging out with uh, your female friends. Yeah. People will speculate, people will start saying, oh, Hope is dating so and so, mm -hmm. they just pretend to be friends. Mm -hmm. But deep inside you, mm -hmm. you always know that your friendship is genuine. So in a very, scenario, very genuine. Yeah, in a scenario where you are dating, mm -hmm. You need to be transparent to your partner. Yes, you, you just make people... it open. Like, you know what, mm -hmm. nigger? You know what, Budesco? You are number one. But <laughs> I does have this friend. friend? Because, you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. there comes a situation whereby mm -hmm. uh, you could find yourself in a fix that only this best friend yeah. mm -hmm. can help you, can help you yeah, out. It's so true. it's never wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you mean to have these male friends or these best female friends, yeah. make them... Uh, make, uh, officiate them, you know, just officiate your friendship just officiate to your, your partner. Yeah, you know? they can even become friends with your partner. Exactly. Yeah. It's never a crime. It's unless never a crime. unless there's something fishy you're hiding. <laughs> that you are, uh, you are hiding. Uh, that you side hide. jack. Like, yes, let's meet behind that curtain. But again, Hope, mm. this thing, you should only tell your partner. You see, other people will always speculate. No, 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 no. no. They will always don't mind about what yeah, don't the public to explain feels the public about yes. that you know she's, she's my genuine friend, he's mm. my genuine friend. People will always speculate, people will always talk, they will always say whatever they think. You see, uh. people think that whatever is in their head, mm -hmm. others think the same too, mm -hmm. you know. But you don't have to explain yourself to people. As long as the person you are with mm -hmm. understands you and knows that you are genuinely you having know mm -hmm. fun with your friends, mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah, and you should mean it too. <laughs> you should not just say this is my friend. This and then and there's some the things scene. behind the curtain is between different. Qua ground, man, man. Mm -hmm. uh huh. So yeah. it's never wrong having these friends. You know what? 
Uh, but, uh, you know, once you have these friends around you, uh, what determines the trust that you build between yourself and your partner? Yeah. Because once you put everything um, on the table and everything is just really open, then you see, uh, Otino is my best male friend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you make Ochino them is so my yeah. best female friend. And you make them so free yeah. uh, to even interact, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yes, unless something fishy is it's really happening, on. then it's not going to be fair. Mm -hmm. Do you think mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's any possibility of, uh, you know, having these besties without, you know, feelings, uh, uh, feeling, feelings coming in? Because, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> It's very true. Like without falling like in polls, love, like polls, like polls, while unlike or what, what we what do we say? Physics, kidogo, physics, I, you know, anyway, you know. We, were, we were in the same school. And yeah. You know, I didn't like those. Subjects. Please don't come up with something that I I don't like. Oh my God! I rock. I So so you didn't like chemistry or you didn't like? I didn't, guys. Or I didn't like. Okay, okay. The like polls. We studied it in physics. Yes, in physics. Uh, I did like physics. I did not like chemistry. In short, in short she's mathematics. not a mathematician. I am not. <laughs> Please, she is not maths, and maths is not her. So you meet Diana on the streets. Please, to her darling. don't even ask her one plus one. She'll tell you eleven.
you have something for them uh -huh. it can be just temporary last maybe mm -hmm. you know last you feel someone for some time so okay you get, okay you get over it or maybe you just feel this people and then you're like if i try to make a move mm -hmm. maybe the friendship will spoil and so and, and don't the way, expect that, that is usually uh okay w what you've said mm -hmm. is very very right yeah you know when when and mm -hmm. before before you continue mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this is why most people they keep their male best friends or female best friends mm -hmm. even with those feelings they try to hide because they don't know what's what gonna happen uh -huh. if they make yeah. that move that's why i always say in as much as in as much as you guys are best of friends male and female mm -hmm. never expect that friendship to be smooth mm -hmm. because in between mm -hmm. some feelings are going to get involved aha uh -huh. yes now <laughs> okay I'm, I'm not so sure i'm not so sure i'm not so sure of uh, what she's saying maybe no, but it's, people can people maybe will maybe comment I'm, and they let us know if okay. whatever i'm saying kindly please true. give us your opinion yes. on this and just please be genuine just yes. say it as it as is naked have you ever is. had any feelings for your bestie a male or a female best friend mm -hmm. we are talking about male and female yes. have you ever had feelings if you are a man if you are a man mm -hmm. we now talking about your best female friend female friend and if, if you are a lady you your are best about your male, male best friend yes. yes now i'm not so sure of uh, you know feelings just cropping in mm -hmm. Uh, between uh, these bestials and <laughs> uh, may maybe oh. I will experience that <laughs> type of belly. You know what? I, I maybe you, you can't tell. Maybe it's not you, but it's your male best friend. Oh! Yes! You don't know okay. what they're thinking about but you. Guys, maybe wait. if they have feelings for you and you don't know, ah. how can you tell? But wait, let, okay. me, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Even if you feel something for this, your besties, okay. kindly, mm -hmm. mind about your friendship because this once you show it off mm -hmm. once you table these feelings my mm -hmm. friend you'll be killing the good relationship you hate you yeah know? your because relationship and your relationship with your friends yes you because know. you know mm -hmm. um at a point reaches mm -hmm. when um, i start viewing you as a brother mm -hmm. because yeah. even even my, okay, by the way all my male friends mm -hmm. i take them as my brothers but in most cases, hope let me tell you something with friendship, mm -hmm. especially a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. Most okay. men, wait, they don't want to take you as their I, sister. I, you know? Do Do you think? Do you think this? Okay. What What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think these besties can ever share a bed without you know anything happening? Like nothing. Like no happened. nothing, no touching, no kissing. Like yes, we are best <laughs> friends. I see you as a brother. You see me as a sister. Uh -huh. Could be we are stuck somewhere, mm -hmm. and like you see now the curfew stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we were somewhere, mm -hmm. and yes, the curfew stuff just comes in. Mm -hmm. We just want to have a room, mm -hmm. you know, to 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 spend. Mm -hmm. And then we say, okay, fine. Instead of spending on that other room and this yes. other room, mm -hmm. we can share a bed. Is it is it possible? This solemnly depends with your friends. Wow. Uh -huh. Yes. Because my male best friends, mm -hmm. we can always do it. Wow. And nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Nothing will happen. It is I'm very, very possible. Sure. Yeah, it's it so possible. Is very but possible. some people are not responsible. They find it so hard to mm -hmm. contain themselves, mm -hmm. and that is when they want to make a move they want to tell you you know what no, for all this why the worst mistake you can ever to do. tell you this and this and that mm. not all the time people can always uh withstand that but there are people mm -hmm. who can do it oh yes i have this best friend mm -hmm. with whom we can share a bed yeah and we don't but like literally we just story until we sleep where well, are and do oh, our stuff not everyone can do that yes you, you know you know by the way th th this <laughs> these are not for the faint hearted mm. that is what i say <laughs> only the strong can make the move only the strong can make the move yeah because you know if you're wiki wiki then you can say no this is the very much opportunity i've been admiring oh, diana I, I, and today now we have we have ourselves in this enclosed place i think katatosi <laughs> na
not advisable mm -hmm. even if you are best of friends mm -hmm. and it reaches a point where you want to spend on spend on this spent mm -hmm. why am i saying spent because okay. you are an imported loo okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you want to spend on the same bed or on the same room with your bestie mm -hmm. and you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that you're going to be, you're not going to be loyal to your relationship? No, 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 no. Just I think, oh, okay, this, this is my point were, of view. We were talking about best friends yes. when you're in a relationship. Yes, mm -hmm. but, okay, this is my point of view. Mm -hmm. You know, if you know exactly who the two of you are, mm -hmm. and you, you respect your man, you respect your woman, mm -hmm. then I think, you, you know, the respect you have for your relationship mm -hmm. should be the, the drive, no, you know, the drive force behind whatever you are doing. But in this case, mm -hmm. I'm talking about now your partner. How is he going to think mm. you spending with some other person in a room? No. Uh -huh. This one will all depend with the trust you built uh -huh. between yourself and your partner. Because, you, you know, um, trust is something that is earned once. Yeah, it is. And once it's broken, my friend, it's broken. No, but hope, you know, this so are... I, I'm, I'm still not seeing any problem. Because ah. you know your partner mm -hmm. and I know my partner. So, you know? You, I know my partner and my partner you know what me. You know what he can do, what he's capable of doing uh -huh. or what she is capable of doing, you know. You'd only have uh, you'd only have issues with mm -hmm. someone you already know that uh, loyalty hapo, bonga point yake ina score zero. You know, like, like in law. Uh, yeah, wow. Best opinion. Yeah. I think if you are truly in a relationship, mm -hmm. there has to be respect. In as much as you have your female best friend or your male best friend, mm -hmm. there has to be that boundary. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do just something simply because your partner trusts you or you are loyal listen or you are loyal <laughs> okay, in such a yeah. scenario mm -hmm. no matter what even if your partner trusts you like 120 mm percent -hmm. and you're so loyal to your friend and you know your bestie can't do nothing mm -hmm. you still don't have to sleep in the same bed in the same room with your friend mm -hmm. unless it's a point of death that is what i'm talking about because all the hotels are locked are, are shut down mm -hmm. and you know you have to find a place you, you have, then you, you get to. there and yeah. you're told mm -hmm. we only have one room yeah now you wh what do you do at that point you yeah. share but yeah. only yeah. principles now but then then you, you get shared uh -huh. you um, get my worry is your principles. my worry is your partner because at this point you've already communicated you make it clear you know mm -hmm. one thing mm -hmm. um when uh, let's say for instance i'm now sleeping with my bestie on the same bed mm -hmm. then uh, my partner gives me a call okay, uh -huh. okay. then uh, at first point i don't want to receive like the moment i hesitate yeah. receiving this call yeah, here yeah. Yeah. and i really don't want to talk in a free will manner mm -hmm. then you know i'll be sending a message a on message. the other side like Things are really different on the ground on this sure, other side, sure, you know. Sure, yeah. So you just receive your call if mm -hmm. he or she calls. Mm -hmm. You tell them, okay, fine. <clears throat> now uh, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the the curfew time or this this blah 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 happened, and yes, we found ourselves here. Yes. And of course, we I'm having so and so next to me here. Mm -hmm. We are uh, sharing a bed, yeah. and yes, you can even talk to them, you know, because you make them so free. Oh. My friend, mm -hmm. it it's not gonna no touching, no kissing. It's not gonna. Uh, or maybe that's why I say mm. if you have a female or a male best friend, you should introduce them to the to your partner yeah, so that they it... get acquainted with your friend such that in case of such kind of a mm. thing, mm -hmm. they don't have to. Yeah, exactly. Friend. Yeah. We still have people who trust each other to that extent and yes, they respect their relationships. Eh? And they can never trade their relationships for, for nothing, for, like for for anything. <laughs> like it's uh -huh. no. Why do you think that in most cases uh, we have uh, these besties? You know, my male friend, the female friend, mm -hmm. and then yes, you find that in most cases our partners uh, don't really come into consensus with such kind of, you know, relationship between um, uh, their partner and, you know, their uh, their opposite sex best friends, and they find themselves hating on them. I think it's just because of the small insecurities that mm -hmm. they have. Mm -hmm. If you have not put it clear that this so and so is my best friend, mm -hmm. so and so is doing this, we always do this together. If you're not transparent to your partner, they will always speculate each and every time you tell them, maybe I'm going to meet my best friend, mm -hmm. we are supposed to be doing this and that. They will, they will always feel like what 
whatever you're supposed to share with them, mm -hmm. now your partner, mm -hmm. you're trying to share it with someone else. Ah, Who's so there's, a, there's, there's, there's conflict there's of interest. Yeah, conflict <laughs> of interest. They feel insecure. They uh -huh. feel like uh, you don't have their time. Maybe the time that you should be spending with them, mm -hmm. you're not going to spend But don't it you think with, that uh, now the insecurity that is cropping in is so much unnecessary? It, it can be unnecessary mm -hmm. if you've explained mm -hmm. and they still don't want to get it. Ah, but then yeah, but again, you know, jealousy is very normal. Yeah, it's normal. Ve That's jealousy is very normal because, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> this is very true. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't uh, bar my, my partner from, you know, seeing their best female friend mm -hmm. or rather, you know, interacting with their best female friend. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Uh, there's that jealousy part of it. Mm -hmm. It's very normal. If your partner is never jealous, mm -hmm. my friend, mm -mm. They don't like I don't know whom you are dating. You're dating <laughs> along, my friend. <laughs> or oh, they Sit are back giving and... that jealousy to someone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Could be you're not the center of attraction. Yeah, really. yeah. Huh? So hope that's why I'm saying maybe mm -hmm. once in a while, mm -hmm. if you're going to see your best friend, you carry your partner along. Yes, go with your you partner. You tag them let along. Them, let them hang out with your besties, know mm -hmm. each other, uh, at least they can know whatever it is that you want yeah, to do. Yeah. So that anytime you tell them that I'm going to meet my bestie, we are going to do this and that, mm -hmm. they just don't have to be jealous and feel insecure for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you too, once you are tagged along kindly, just behave yourself. Yeah, you behave. Know? Don't go there. You, and, 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 <laughs> you know, you, you start displaying <laughs> your jealousy and everything like, ah oh, no, Budesco. Let me or that you are invited, mm -hmm. you know very try, well, yeah. just try to Chaga be Muka, you know, to just for the okay, for the sake of for the sake of your partner, yeah. and then when you go back home, you we, we know you are an introvert, you know, but just try to be an extrovert for that case. <laughs> it doesn't it, last long. It doesn't last long. Yeah. So, once in a while, invite your partners mm -hmm. to those places. Mm -hmm. Let them know what you're up to with your best yeah, friend. Yeah, exactly. Because so uh, they it's, don't it's so bad. It, it's so bad. Yeah. Actually, the most dangerous, uh, the most dangerous thing mm -hmm. is them just getting it out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That you know, hope is, uh, is 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 seeing someone. You know, because that, that actually that is the report that would come around. And the, we have these people who are always just following your life. Ah, you try to go we call them the, the we call them the unemployed uh, the unemployed watchdogs. Whatever watch you call use, them, they watch your steps. They watch your steps, and then they just don't let it sit there after watching your mm -hmm. steps. They always uh, they'll always call your partner and tell them. <laughs> you know, Hope is here doing this and that with who and who, whatever, <laughs> nini, nini, and they always exaggerate. Mm -hmm. They tell you that ah, they add on salt, you know. They are sitting. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's it's really fair yeah. for someone eat. who is eating. By the way, the no, way this, is, this is another thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not wrong to have these besties, but how you carry out yourself when, when you are around, around each other. Yeah. You know, speaks loud. That these are uh, compromising sort of positions. So, <laughs> I mean, you go out with your best friend, yes. and they just we, like, we look, mm, hey, they just want to sit like this, just, just like this. I mean, how, they are too much comfortable how, with you. How do besties do that? I mean, <laughs> this is not your brother. It means there's something much more into it that we really don't know. Of which, if your partner sees mm -hmm. that, they won't. Issues, issues they come up. Be in good terms with that. And then so you'll you start know. looking for drugs. Whoever is boiling iron pot for you. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> yes. This issue of iron pot, where did you get it? <laughs> you, 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 know, you know, when you start doing compromising things with your besties, mm -hmm. and then now these guys keep on, your, your partners keep on leaving because no man or no woman mm -hmm. would want to see some some stuff, you know, like you, you, you taking snaps mm -hmm. and you're so close, like you're a husband and a wife, my dear, you even want to kiss, <laughs> huh? and then you want to come and convince me mm -hmm. that we are just best, best friends. Friend. Do you think it's correct or mm -hmm. is it right mm -hmm. for your female best friend or your male best friend mm -hmm. to tell you that they love you, like mm -hmm. they come and tell you, hope I love you. Is it right <gasps> when oh. you are dating? <laughs> Or, or rather, is it right for your female best friend or your male best friend to tell you, I love you? Oh, um, 
you know, okay, I believe I'm not going to contradict you everything, mm -hmm. but uh, this is my honest opinion, this is my take. Okay. You know, may I only say I serve it on the table, you like, you eat it, or <laughs> leave it. <laughs> Just as it is. Yes, because okay. after all, we don't care. Uh, okay. Now, you know what? Mm -hmm. Uh, someone to tell you that I love you or I like you, okay, you are very specific. Yes. You talked of I love you. I love you know, you. love <coughs> is something that comes with affection. Mm -hmm. Yes? It depends with the motive, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But if you are just genuine mm -hmm. and that you really love me, mm -hmm. then I have no problem with that. Unless there's a hidden agenda behind us, mm -hmm. and uh, could be you know very well that I have a partner, okay. and this love is not just something you're just okay it's not just something you saying mm -hmm. out of the blues or you're not being genuine with it yeah. there's some moves also you're trying to you know to make yeah uh -huh. yeah like you know i love you and you know when we find ourselves together mm -hmm. you always want to make advances on me yeah you want to touch me you want to do what with that my friend if you tell me that i will hoop you up my take hope yes i think mm -hmm. Your female or your male best friend mm -hmm. should not just tell you they love you if they really don't mean it. If they genuinely don't mean it. Oh, first if, of if, all, if there's, a, there's a hidden agenda. Yeah, if should. there's a hidden agenda. First of all, mm -hmm. this your male best friend or mm -hmm. your female best friend, mm -hmm. they have an idea that you are dating. Mm -hmm. So or they even, just or even, come, uh -huh, yeah. they just, uh, just can't come and tell you that, hope you know what. I love you. Mm -hmm. So what? What if I tell you I love you back? So B C D. Eh? Uh -huh. eh? And mm -hmm. they know very well that you are dating. What is going to happen to your partner? Mm -hmm. If you don't genuinely love someone, mm -hmm. then you should not tell them that you love but them. But again, uh, Diana, mm -hmm. you saying mm -hmm. they know very well that I am dating. Yes. And mm -hmm. you again saying that if they don't genuinely mean it, mm -hmm. oh, what, what do you mean? Some people can tell you that they love you mm -hmm. because it's last. It's not even love. They just have that feeling. I that mean, they, they want love to interfere you. with. They just your want to know uh -huh. what you think about it. Uh -huh. Yeah. After I tell Hope that I love her, what, what is she next? going to say? Maybe is they're she telling gonna you. Kiss me or something? Yeah. Maybe they're just she telling gonna you. She's gonna hug me or. You know, there's that love hug and there's just that friendship hug. Or uh -huh. they're just telling you this to test you, mm -hmm. to just feel how much you feel about them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to know if you love them back or mm -hmm. what do you think about them. That's why they're telling you, mm -hmm. oh, you know what, Hope, I love you. Mm -hmm. So maybe they expect you to say I love you too. I've always been wanting to <laughs> tell you this. But, but saying I, I love you too isn't a problem, isn't an issue. But why would you love them too the only you love problem, your partner? The only problem here okay. is that what is the motive behind this person telling you I love you. That's why. Ah, respect your besties, yeah. you know, because our besties, mm -hmm. we are also your besties, yeah. right? Yeah. We are their besties. And they should learn to respect the fact that we are seeing our partners. Our partners. You know? And you are not in a relationship. Yeah, with just don't bring about uh, intimacy. Uh, you don't it, bring intimacy into You know, definitely, definitely it's going to bring about what we call a conflict of interest here. Yeah, because the moment someone mm -hmm. tells you that they love you, Hope, uh -huh. you start thinking about it. Uh -huh. Why did he tell me that he, he or she loves is me? Is there something is there hidden something that is not hidden? telling me? Does he a want bee, to be in a, a bee, with them? Don't let someone you know? buy iron pot for yeah. you. Yeah, if you don't yeah. genuinely mean it. I, I think it's not right to just tell someone people that have been looking no more because people take things different. Yes, you never can tell if this your bestie mm -hmm. really wanted, eh? mm -hmm. really wanted to be with you, and that's just a chance <laughs> when not, you yourself not, not, not even being with eh? you. This person is having a partner. Yeah, ah. yeah. So what's gonna My happen? My friend, they share bed with that partner. <laughs> so why would you come in uh -huh. with you want to buy iron iron pot for these people? Why? Yeah, Wait, okay. yeah, they call it a three-legged. Yes, but again, we're still reminding you that it's never wrong having these besties, yeah. and it's never wrong, you know, these people telling you they love you. But uh, this love statement mm -hmm. uh -huh, should, should be determined, you know, the motive. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, once you know very well that you're seeing someone in your serious relationship, mm -hmm. you should also not swim into this love statements, my dear. Exactly. It's gonna ruin your relationship because, you know, well, the, the moment, moment somebody says that, mm -hmm. you start flirting with them. Yeah! yeah. 
you <laughs> find yourself flirting with them, and then you want to they... talk to them when your partner is around, uh -huh. and then disaster just comes from nowhere, and you exactly. can't control it. And, and once no flirting it, comes in, and you can ruin your relationship with that. And once flirting comes in, it mm -hmm. will be that 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 okay. Uh, when it reaches at this point, when this person calls, I'm never going to receive it. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Because you know very well they are going to tell you they love you. Yes, and, you and they expect you, to they say, expect you to return that love, that I love you statement. Exactly. You return it. Yeah. You know, and maybe you return it, and deep down your heart you don't. You don't it. even mean it. Yeah. You don't so be it. very straight mm -hmm. with your besties. Mm -hmm. You know, put it very open to your partners mm -hmm. that. Um, actually, I'm having this male friend or yeah. this male friend, yeah. you know, yeah. the number doesn't matter to us. Mm -hmm. It matters to you best. True. But make it so clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And make them free, you know, so that if someone meets the other person, oh, hi, I know this, this nigga mm -hmm. is dating my best girlfriend. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's never wrong. But starting to hide stuff, you know, when, when, when your partner is around, you don't want to talk to them, you don't want to like receive their calls, or when you are with your besties, you don't want to receive your partner's calls, or that is you when... You start being fishy, putting mm -hmm. passwords all over, your that is when has trouble. a password, your Facebook account has a password, yes. your ID has a password, uh -huh. your messages... Even if someone calls you, you have to put a password before you receive that call. So that they don't know? see that actually... So, it's my is best friend who is calling me, you yeah. know? So to avoid those, uh -huh. don't just tell your best friend that you love them. You never know what it can do to uh -huh. them. Maybe it can damage them completely. Have boundaries. Have boundaries. Genuine boundaries. Yeah. So, do you think it's okay mm -hmm. to fall in love mm -hmm. with your best friend? Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Falling in love with my best, best friend. friend. Huh. You know, there's no sweet feeling like, uh, uh, you know, loving that best friend. I'm talking to these people who are not dating. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but if you are dating, mm -hmm. Biam, mm -hmm. abomination it is. <laughs> to fear. To fear. Abomination. <laughs>
down down i think friends should just remain friends mm -hmm. don't fall in love with your best friend wow 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 now you heard it all from her all said and done now this is my take it's never wrong having these besties in our lives you know but again if you are in a relationship don't give much of your time or much of the attention to your besties to an extent that on this other side you tend to oppress your relationship you know yeah. you make your partner at the end of the day feel so much left out our partners or your partners kindly mm -hmm. if these relationships have been put so much transparent mm -hmm. and you feel that you are not for them speak out true just don't speak feel out. infringed and just keep quiet yes right? speak out yeah tell talk your mind mm -hmm. and let your partner know if That's you true. have welcomed it yeah. or not and another thing mm -hmm. if you are tagged along yeah please 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 even if you are the master you know the registrar officer mm -hmm. of those we call introverts <laughs> kindly for the sake of that occasion mm. for the sake of your partner and their besties yeah just try to be an extrovert it doesn't cost a penny or vice versa yes yeah maybe your partner is an extrovert yes and uh, you invite him or her to a place where they are only introverts yes just try to calm down mm -hmm. uh, blend with the rest mm -hmm. maybe just see what they are doing so that you can know what your partner is up to and that's all yeah. this is uh, my last shot mm -hmm. uh, that um, unnecessary jealousy just take it to the dustbin it's okay to be jealous because yeah. all of us we are jealous but mm -hmm. try and limit yourself yeah. you don't have to get jealous out of everything that someone does yeah a little jealousy is sweet because yeah. we it, it spices up you it's, know it, it, it spices up the relationship and it makes us feel like, you feel like oh, this guy they care for me this lady they care for me that's mm. why they are, they are jealous if i do this yeah thing. because you know at the end of the day if someone doesn't show that kind of jealousy maybe they show it to <laughs> someone else but you'd, you'd be jumping into a car that is not taking you to your destination <laughs> oh yeah yeah anyway, all in all guys, mm -hmm. thank you very much for watching this video mm -hmm. if you haven't subscribed kindly click on the red button on the red button below mm -hmm. and also click the notification button such that if we upload another video you'll you get notified to get that notification and yeah. watch tell your friends to subscribe tell your families to subscribe kindly mm -hmm. just support us mm -hmm. and also you can follow us on social media my instagram handle is akoto cage mm -hmm. actually it's across akoto cage on twitter instagram and facebook wow yeah. so with me yes she has said it all I don't have to repeat a thing. Mm. Now, you can find me on Facebook, I'm um, Bori Hopa Koth, Nyar Konyango. You get to LinkedIn, it's Nyar Konyango. Twitter, she told me last time I should not say Twitter. So, Twitter, you get there, it's Nyar Konyango, it's at 01. Um, Instagram, it's Nyar Konyango. Then WhatsApp, it's in your konya wow thank this was you. a beautiful session yeah it was a beautiful uh, wow thank you guys for watching our youtube channel we really appreciate you that's what we had for you today with yes. me a photo cage and me a call with a nyar konya till next time guys mm -hmm. bye for now bye